Hello, I'm Kevin Gallagher, Technical Marketing Engineer with F5, and I'd like to show you a demo about uh, our new distributed cloud DDoS mitigation solution. Web applications have become more complex and are being deployed in more and more different ways, uh, ensuring that your apps are protected regardless of where they're actually deployed becomes an increasing challenge. This has led to significant increases in attacks as these applications are growing more and more uh, mission critical to all businesses. Uh, we will focus on DDoS mitigation, which is one of four key capabilities to protect your web application. These are the key capabilities of DDoS mitigation. Uh, we should note that uh, layer 3 and 4 DDoS mitigation is enabled by default and requires no configuration. We'll go over uh, layer 7 DDoS mitigation in this demo. Here is my hipster application. When I navigate from uh, different panels to others, the response time uh, appears to be normal. Show my shopping cart. A console output uh, shows the response time is, is very, very low as well. And let's look at the dashboard for the load balancer. Shows performance metrics for this load balancer. There's no events. The health score is 100 out of 100. Response time is quick. Looks good. Other performance dashboards look normal as well. Here's the security dashboard, which shows different security events, policy hit rates, and if there's any DDoS security events. Let's look at the configuration for this HTTP load balancer. Machine learning for DDoS mitigation is enabled here. We're going to go ahead and simulate an attack in a moment. This attack will send a lot of requests at a high rate and we'll do more than just simple HTTP GETs. So the slow response time should be visible from the web application now that the attack has started. As you can see, it takes a little while to load some of the different pages on the screen, including the shopping cart. Here's the security dashboard again. It shows DDoS security events, as well as malicious users, and any other security events. Now let's look at the DDoS dashboard. It shows a geographical view of your web application or web applications. And you can see in red that there are some problems there. So we'll drill into the events for more details. If you look at the information here, uh, there's a bunch of information available, but mainly we're concerned about uh, the IP addresses that initiated this, uh, this connection. We want to make a note of those so that we can create a policy to block them. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll create a uh, DOS mitigation rule to block the source IP. There he goes. We'll name that block by IP. can reuse this list for uh, future IP addresses if needed. Go ahead and apply that. Now let's go back and look at the response time for the web app. It appears that this response time is now back to normal. And we'll go ahead and look at the dashboard and see that it's showing uh, 100 out of 100 for the health. And we'll take another look at the security dashboard and you can see uh, the information here showing what uh, has just happened. Thank you for your time and goodbye.